What's good everybody, Timeless Traveler here and welcome back to my Let's Play. That is right, we are starting completely over. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Why would I start over after we had such good progress on the previous Let's Play world? Last thing we did, we put together that amazing, amazing Guardian farm. And, you know, by the end of it, after AFK there, I had almost 900 levels. It only took like two days. <laughs> And I just had shulker boxes full of loot and it was everything was coming together very, very good. Well, that was during 1.17. And as much as I wanted to keep that world, um, I wanted to have access. I wanted full unrestricted access to the beauty of 1.18. And the only way that I could have truly done that was to do a new world. Um, I tried to reset the chunks using amulets. But because of certain add-ons that I had at the time, um, it rendered me unable to transfer my world over to my PC through Realms. Um, anything that involves having experimental features on just kind of really messes up your save. So I've refrained from that. I'm only using official um, add-ons now, no more experimental gameplay. So if time comes with 1.19, and the only thing we need to update is the, the, the deep underground, for the deep dark ancient cities and the swamps um all i'll have to do is just reset the swamp chunks and the surrounding areas that haven't been built in and i can still do that as long as i don't have experimental features on so as long as everything goes the way is planned we uh should stay on this world um going forward okay i think it's time we get rid of what's down here there's i did a slight bit of exploring on this map i don't want to just do a blind seed um, that's another thing. The seed that I was playing on, um, I got tired of it really, really quick. Um, just the layout of it. And I know I probably could have just yeeted off thousands and thousands of blocks um, and started over, but I just, I can't get myself to do that yet. It's weird. But the layout of this seed, I literally spawned just right there where, where I did my intro, where you just saw me at the beginning. And the thing is, I have a problem with obstruction. And on the previous seed, I was obstructed on so many sides. And yes, I could work towards it and rebuild and decorate and terraform all that stuff. I didn't want to do that. Um, just one giant metal right here. First off, just one right here. It's amazing. I mean, look at this. We got ourselves a beautiful meadow and we got ourselves a little bit of a ledge right there. We'll take a look at later on. Um, I really debated on building up here. Like a house. Maybe I'll still do it, but I think for now we're going to have our house right here, but we're going to go ahead. I think now is the time we upgrade our oh ooh, copper. Um, now is the time that we and coal that we get rid of that. We rid ourselves of these primitive wooden tools and we make a slight upgrade up to stone. And uh, because we're near a mountain or specifically the meadow biome that's going to turn into our mine. Um, we're going to find some iron at higher Y levels. So we're definitely going to start that mine. We're going to go up into the mountain to get the most out of it. Can we even get copper with a wooden axe? Um, I don't think we can. Yeah, I didn't think so. OK, let's go upgrade and we have officially entered the Stone Age. Now, this is perfect. We have all of this forest that we can take down for whenever we need wood. The forest is slowly going to shrink. Um, but we are going to put our crops here. Look at this. I, I really just need to accept the fact that I can only start a world off in the plains biome. Um, because it's just so flat. It gives me a lot to work with. I can immediately place crops and breed some animals and all that so this is we got ourselves it's not a large section of planes but it's enough to give me all the space i think i need not necessarily the space i actually need but the space i think i need which is a lot larger um <laughs> to get everything going and get things started now also the meadow here's the beauty of the meadow look at that you i don't know if you could see that but there are two birch trees and in the meadow, um, the, the, the change logs claims that every tree in the meadow has a beehive, which we have proven in, a, in, in one of my um, seed showcases um, at this point to be a falsehood. 
but it's supposed to be every tree in the meadow that has a beehive. So we already have a couple beehives right there. And if we get on top of the meadow, there'll be some more trees and there's going to be a few more beehives. So we're going to have early access to honey. Just need to get ourselves a fireplace and uh, we can start harvesting that. Uh oh, uh oh, I think I might be too late. The monsters are already going to be out. Let's um, OK, OK, let's uh, let's 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 make a door. Let's make a door. Uh huh. Uh huh. OK. And we're going to make that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. I hate these baby zombies, especially when I have nothing to protect myself with. OK, OK, where are we? OK, everything's good so far. We got a furnace. We have that. I think that's everything I need. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're going to take this. I, 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 hindsight 2020. Um, I should have just grabbed that and brought it with me as I dug out this little area, but <laughs> it's okay. We're going to just hunker down in here. Anything? Nope, 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 nope. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Let's light up the way. Okay, got the door, and we just need to place crafting table, place the furnace. We're going we're gonna to just kind of stay up for a little bit, cooking this food, and... Don't want to waste daylight on the food that's being made. We could actually use this nighttime. It's perfect. Once you have your little your little emergency hut, um, you take this time to just cook the food and then save the daylight for gathering resources. Don't sleep the night away. Don't waste that good night um, when you have food to cook. And now we've resorted to burning up the only small amount of logs that I have um, because I ran out of coal. It was only one piece. So I mean, what what can you expect? We're gonna have to make some charcoal and then we will be able to cook the rest of our food and well as well as have a few more torches finally got ourselves a little bit of steak and we got some more cooking in there so i think it's safe to go ahead and take a nap now i want to know just how expansive this forest really goes i think in chunk base it showed that it was a pretty big forest but if we let's see if we can go around and get a uh a view oh wow we got ourselves a lot of birch trees off in the distance there's a nice little cave down there too i wonder what's in there looks like we got ourselves mountains of trees this is really nice um where's the sugar cane i need some sugar cane so we can start some paper we'll, we'll figure that out later oh there's another cave over here what's what's over here i'm just getting so distracted oh my god another cave what's What's going on? Can we get some coal, please? Do I need to waste a torch or is it just it's going nowhere? And what about this one? Anything in here? Ooh, we got ourselves some glow lichen. This one looks a little bit more involved. We got ourselves some dripstone. Very, very nice. We are in a dripstone cave and this expands out for a while as well. I think we can grab some copper. Now, what we really need is a few bits of iron to get some iron tools going, but that's okay. We'll take some copper. Now, I really shouldn't come down here with like no protection, no protection at all. I think, um, yeah, he's ready to, he's ready to brawl. I do not have the equipment for all this, but I will take this dripstone. We can use that to decorate the inside of the, the, our own cave. Try not to come too far deep into the cave because uh, I could very much I could I could very easily die. I just I just don't see any iron. So we'll definitely have to establish a bit of a dripstone farm, I think. Early game, late game, mid game kind of dripstone farms. Right now we don't have the technology for some fancy automated one. So we'll we'll work on one, I think, in the next couple episodes, because I've never done a dripstone farm. Um, I also have never done a lava farm. So I think what we're gonna do for our um day one hut. I know it might be a little overkill, but we're going to basically turn it into a dripstone cave. We're going to take all of these blocks and we're going to fill the entire inside with all of these. And my pick is just about spent, so I really have no choice but to head back. OK, I'd say that was actually a very successful first caving adventure. Let's go ahead and head back to base. We got ourselves some minor base expansion. We got ourselves the dripstone bed tucked away inside this little bit of a hillside and uh, we're going to keep expanding out a little bit to allow for some more storage because we're probably going to be in here for a while. 
um, until we have ourselves enough resources, enough food to set up the real starter house. And let's put these somewhere better. So now the goal here is we're going to pretty much fill up this space with uh, with resources. We're going to expand it out a bit more. And then we're going to wipe out the forest. And then maybe, maybe get started on the new strip mine that might be next episode. We'll see. OK, we got ourselves a very, very rudimentary storage setup. We can get rid of all this here. Now, I think for this first episode, we might actually have ourselves a time lapse. Um, it's going to be very, very slow on my end because it's uh, it's stone technology. But we're going to take out some of this forest, gather up a bunch of wood and then we'll see what happens when we get to that point. Well, I got a decent supply of logs. It should last me for a little while. I want to hold off on finishing the rest of the forest. Let me show you something real quick. So if we come up here, we can kind of get a better idea of the kind of terrain that we're working with. So if you look at the trees, we have ourselves a good like it's a uh, so OK, so you see those hills right there, right at the base of the hills is basically from there all the way to the waters, all the way up to the base of this hill. I want to get rid of as well, and then we'll have the rest of these trees kind of like in the background. Um, we're a little under, I'd say probably a, a fifth of the way done. Now, before we finish up the rest of that, I want to have better tools. I used up just what little iron I had to cut down the trees, get myself a water bucket. And now we're going to go get some iron. And we're also going to try and get some diamond. Now, I did a little exploring, but I didn't do too much. I just wanted to see what was out and about around this mountain. And um, you see that little opening right there? We're going to actually go take a look there. I got to show you this. This is going to be really cool. We're going to explore this together. And look at this. I only carved out just a little bit just so we have a little bit more flatter area to kind of work with. And we're going to decorate this as we continue. But we already have a mountain in or obviously we have a mountain. We already have a mine inside the mountain. I mean, look at this. This is a dripstone cave and I already put a couple torches down there. But basically, I mean, we already got some resources right here. Let me grab some of this real quick. OK, I thought it would be a small amount of coal, but uh, it was more than a few pieces. And I also ended up having to get some copper as well. But we came to just the right place. So I need some dripstone to help decorate the uh, the day one hut. Basically, we so we've got all this drip. And then we're going to get all of these blocks as well. This is going to be perfect. Now we have a lot of torches. Um, we have zero armor and we have a little bit of food. So that should be oh, the, 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 the trick part. The, oh, oh, impaled himself on the spike. The tricky part about all of this is we need to be able to light up this area to prevent mobs from spawning. But it is on a very steep decline so we're gonna try to light this up just a little bit more and we got some iron right over there that's perfect it's probably not going to be very much but it's going to be enough to make another pickaxe which is all we can hope for right now now there's a little oh wow look at this okay see this is why we bring water so we're gonna go ahead we're going to cut this in and then we are gonna slide on down Make sure we have lights everywhere and there's already water down here, so we don't have to worry about needing to get more. Oh, we got some emerald. That'll be good because we have some wandering traders. They might give us some something valuable. I think I can only use an iron pick with emeralds. There we go. I don't know if stone works. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to get some lapis as well for early game enchants. Now we're almost at diamond level, everybody. We are very, very close. Oh, more iron. This is perfect. OK, team, upon further exploration, we um, well, there's a lot more down there. We have now reached. What is is that a bat on fire? Anyway, we um, that is deep slate down there and we just have to get down a little bit lower. And with any luck, we'll find some diamonds. Uh oh, some diamonds exposed to the air. And then we can finally be done with our mission for today. If I don't die. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. Not today. Leave me alone. OK, he's over there. I think I can take him out now. 
Uh oh, no, no, I'm not gonna survive this. No, 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 no. Let's get my health back up. Okay, let's try again. Is our friend still there? We're gonna just take small hits and then we're gonna do do a hit and run tactics. And we're gonna hit him a couple times. Oh, oh, got him corner, got him corner. I think I can take him. I got him, I got him, I got him. I'm gonna take his armor. There we go. Okay, I got some gold boots. That'll provide me with a little bit of protection right now. <laughs> this is very stressful. Not how I was expecting the first episode to go. Okay, let's go ahead and put on these boots. I can't. <laughs> what is that? There is zero protection with these boots, but whatever. Let's continue forward. Oh, there's so much more iron here. Okay, somehow I managed to get over a stack and a half of iron. Who's shooting at me? Uh oh. Okay, anyway, I managed to get over a stack and a half of iron. Uh, I just saw slimes. There's a slime chunk over there. Oh, this cave has so many amazing things to explore. But I am gunning for the diamonds, okay? So we're going to get rid of this drip zone, and I'm going to show you a quick way down the cliff or down the down the cave. Um, so we're going to try to get all the way down to that deep slate, and we have water right here. So we're just going to let it free. That way we have a safe way down and we have a more easier way up. We don't have to mine our way up at any point. Hopefully that skeleton. OK, he's getting whooshed away. Perfect. And in just a moment, we're going to also creep down bit by bit, watching out for the drip stone. I don't want to just go down the water yet because I want to make sure there's no mobs nearby. I also want to make sure that we have things lit up so now we've entered the tough and the deep slate we should start to see i just just three diamonds just give me a diamond pickaxe i will be happy just three three diamonds we have some lava here i'm debating on just grabbing some um you know what yep uh oh uh oh creeper okay okay i think we're good yeah 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 you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna do a lava farm we have dripstone so i can make a very basic rudimentary oh lava farm that was that was scary. We almost died there. But let's... Okay, we're down at negative 43. There should be diamonds somewhere. There has to be. There just has to be. We can, we didn't go through all this trouble, everybody, just for nothing. I've got no armor. I've got very little food. Oh, I just saw the diamond. I just saw the diamond. Did you see it? It looks like it might just be one. I really hope it's not. We got an iron pick right here. Let's carve around the area just to be safe. Yeah, it looks like it's just one. I can make a shovel with this. I don't need a shovel. I need a pick. All right, well, I got what we want. I got what I wanted. I guess we'll just head back home. You know, on second thought, look at this. There's more deep slate to discover. Okay, there. Oh, I see it. I don't know if you can see it on the on the on the screen. There's a diamond. It might be. It might be this. I don't believe it. I'm going to stay hopeful. There is definitely a diamond down there. Yep, yep, yep. I see them. That is definitely a diamond. That is a deep slate diamond. That is one of the best diamonds. Go ahead and get some of this. We got one. We got two. We got three. That's a pickaxe, everybody. We got ourselves a diamond pickaxe, but there is still more down there. We're going to go ahead and grab that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and count it out. We got one and I see two. There we go. Okay, we definitely have enough for a diamond pick. That's good. That's a good start. We can definitely get some obsidian and start maybe go to the nether um, at some point soon. But I believe there is still more. I'm probably going to die. Let's <laughs> wait, wait, I have lava. Let's let's see. I'm going to try a thing. Okay, now run. Did it work? Is he is he going to die? OK, now while he's burning, I'm going to go up to him and OK, that didn't do much. But if we can take his armor, OK, we have ourselves a chest plate. I'm going to wear that. Good. And we got the pants. We are all swagged out in gold, everybody. We got this. We got this a little bit more safer now. Now, I firmly believe there are diamonds right here. Oh, oh, oh look at that. I just had a total green and mumbo moment <laughs> when they were digging for diamonds. <laughs> that couldn't have been more perfectly timed. <laughs> OK, bonus points to anybody that understands what what I'm referring to when I say green and mumbo digging for diamonds. OK, that could not have been more perfectly timed. That gave us a couple more diamonds. But before we end today's episode, I know I know there's more diamonds over here. No, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, I was right. They're over here. Let's light it up. 
Now, the real question is, how am I getting back? I got, like, how am I supposed to get back to base? I mean, I should probably head back now after I grab these. Uh, where did they go? This little gem right here and regroup. Come back with some more improved gear <laughs> and just go crazy um, deep in these mountains. Um, but we're going to take one more turn because I know for a fact that there's diamonds over here, right around the corner, right here. No. We got one more set of torches. And there are diamonds over here. No. Okay. Maybe not. Huh. Okay. Okay. Maybe not over there, but um, I'm feeling lucky. I'm all filled in with gold. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a good sign. It's a very good sign. That means I'm going to find diamonds right over here. Hello, diamond, diamond, diamond. Right. As I turn this corner, we're going to see some, some, some sparkle. Mm, maybe not, not here. This is not a good, this area doesn't have good energy. OK, I think we're going to start heading back. I know there's another turn that I can make. I just have to follow the lights. We'll head on back to the base. We've got a long ways to go. I think I just went in a circle. That's OK. OK, you know what? I think we've got pretty much all the diamonds that. Um, oh, is this a geode? Oh, hey, we got ourselves a geode. I'm going to have to track mark these coordinates down. Um. Because I would really love to get some amethyst shards because I need tinted glass for my creeper farm. This is a very, very... Is that a spider spawner in there? It's a very small... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No. Okay, okay. We have to go back. We have to go back. Um, da, 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 let's just let's just run it. Just run it. So glad I got out of that mountain. Never thought I'd see the outside ever again. And it's uh, it's currently night time. We're gonna go ahead and sleep real quick. Okay, we got ourselves our iron that's smelting down. We've got ourselves eight diamonds. That's enough to make a pickaxe. Almost three pickaxes. We got ourselves a nice little bit of loot as well. We got a lot of goodies. Next time we go down into the mountain, we're definitely going to be a lot more prepared but that's gonna wrap it up for today everybody thank you all again so much for watching i am timeless traveler and this was my let's play very crazy stuff a lot happened sorry for making the episode as uh, long as it is but uh we just got a little carried away getting all those diamonds and then of course there was a tragic demise that i had um and I had to recover my items as soon as possible but we had some good progress got rid of the part of the forest we got ourselves uh, already carved out uh, mining system deep within the mountain so that's gonna be perfect and uh, we just got just enough diamonds to get ourselves a pickaxe and uh, maybe a sword maybe a sword we'll see what happens but uh, we're gonna definitely get a rest now get work on some food work on some crops definitely do some more mining off camera um, and then we'll be definitely ready for upcoming episodes so until then again thank you all so much for watching you all take care have an amazing day and I will see you in the next episode